It's been a while since we heard from the World Health Organization, a body which, in its attempt to please China, left the world unprepared to deal with this pandemic. It downplayed the threat, it tried to cover up, it eventually delayed the global response. We've discussed all these crimes in detail several times on the show. We were even promised an interview, remember, by the WHO chief. He chickened out then. It's been months. So we decided to find out just what the body has been up to after failing to live up to its core mission and telling the world that the worst is yet, the worst is yet to come. What we found was quite worrying. The World Health Organization has quietly altered the sequence of events that led to this pandemic. I want to repeat that. The WHO has changed the timeline of the coronavirus pandemic. For six months, this body claimed that China informed it about the Wuhan virus on the 31st of December 2019. Well, now it has taken a U-turn and a rather big one. We have the archived version of the WHO timeline on COVID-19. It's on your screen. Read very carefully. Look at what it says. December 31st, 2019, Wuhan Municipal Health Commission reported a cluster of cases of pneumonia in Wuhan. A novel coronavirus was eventually identified. The WHO clearly stated that this virus was identified on the 31st of December. The statement implied that the virus was reported to the WHO by China. Now that has been changed on the sly. The date is the same. The information, very different though. Allow me to quote again. The WHO's country office in the People's Republic of China picked up, it picked up a media statement by the Wuhan Municipal Health Commission from their website on cases of viral pneumonia in Wuhan. The mention of coronavirus being identified has quietly been removed. The fact that it was reported to the WHO has also been blacked out. The WHO is clearly stating that China did not report the existence of the virus on the 31st of December. China did not report it. And this is not the only change that has been made. The archive timeline stated that on the 1st of January, the WHO had put itself on an emergency footing for dealing with the outbreak. In the new timeline, emergency footing has been re rephrased into coordinating activities. An addition has been made. The WHO says that it, quote unquote, requested information on the reported cluster in Wuhan from Chinese authorities. It took six months for this body to realize it was yet to receive information from China. Why did it not clarify back then that no information was provided, that China did not inform it about this pandemic? And if altering the information was not enough, the WHO has added new dates. The previous timeline made no mention that the WHO received information from China on the 3rd of January. This information has been quietly slipped into the new timeline. Let me quote, 3rd January 2020, Chinese officials provided information to WHO on the cluster of cases of viral pneumonia of unknown cause identified in Wuhan. Why was this omission made in the initial timeline? Why did the WHO chief publicly praise China's response when China was not providing any information to his, his body, his outfit? These changes have not only exposed China further, they've also demolished the WHO's credibility or whatever was left of it. Can anything this body says from now on be relied upon? We think not. What can be done is something we've said repeatedly ask questions, hold the World Health Organization accountable for facilitating this pandemic. It cannot be allowed to get away by rewriting the history of the biggest peril that the world has ever faced in recent times. China lied, people died, and the World Health Organization stood with its tongue tied. There's nothing more to it.